guys, so I'm gonna be helping you convince your parents how to let you get a bearded dragon or really any small reptile small pet i guess this could work for really any small animal so i just want to give a little few comments before i start this video the first one is all parents are not the same so basically what i'm trying to say here is your parent might take a little more convincing than my parents so it took me a long time to get my parents to let me get a lizard and it took me as the same day she bought it so it really varies from your parents and how willing they are to let you get an animal. You also want to first find out the reasons that they may not let you get a bearded dragon. So if you know your parent is very um, frugal with money, then money could be an issue and you might want to take into your own hands and get a job and save up to get your own lizard because maybe that will help them. If money's an issue like that, then I would advise you to if you have a job, then save up or really just save up any like birthday money and stuff like that. Anything you like find, you know, on a quarter on the floor, pick it up, save it for your lizard. But um, yeah, if your parents are frugal, then I would, my parents are frugal. Well, my dad is frugal. My mom's not, she's, you know, I'll buy everything. But my dad is so, when I got my Crested Gecko, it was really relieving for them because I told them, hey, I would buy everything. So you don't have to spend your money. If you know a reason your parents will let you get a pet is because of your lack of responsibility, then you need to find a way to improve that before you do even ask them. A reason you would find them not allowing you to is that reason that you mainly want to focus on when you're addressing the fact that you want to get a pet. So here are some things that you don't do when you're trying to convince your parents to let you get a bearded dragon. Number one. Do not beg them constantly. If you beg them constantly, they're more than likely going to get annoyed with you and just tell you no, and no is no. So if you say, hey mom, can I be able to get a bearded dragon? Hey dad, hey mom, hey mom, hey mom, hey dad, hey dad. Don't really beg them a lot because it's probably not gonna work. Another thing is don't flip out on them. So basically uh, get angry with them or start crying, throwing a temper tantrum because that will get them very angry more than likely and then they'll just flat out be like no. So basically just watch your actions and when you convince your parents to, get you, to let you get a bearded dragon, you have to be very patient. Okay, so here are the things you do when convincing your parents to let you get a bearded dragon. First thing you do is you can start out small. So what I'm saying is basically you can start out with a fish tank and take care of that fish and once they see that you're taking care of the fish, they're gonna see you're responsible. So you wanna show them your responsibility with a small pet. More than likely, your parents will let you get a fish. Um, fish aren't really, you know, that's always the starter pet, so. If you can get your parents to let you get a fish, show them that you can take care of this animal and then that's when you bring the lizard topic up. That's exactly what I did. So first I bought a five gallon tank and then I put like two catfish, two mystery snails, you know, five ghost shrimp. I don't recommend doing this, but I did this behind my parents' back and then I just showed up in my house and I was like, hey, I got fish and stuff. And they weren't like happy, but they weren't like, oh wow, you can't take it all back. But they kind of just let me, you know, gave me le leeway, lay away. So that's what I did. And then as they saw that I was really taking care of my fish, I was very interested in my fish. And I said, hey, I want, you know, something else. Then it was much more easier for them to say, okay, we'll let you get a lizard. Another thing you can do is ask for a more advanced pet and then ask for a bearded dragon. So what I mean is maybe ask for a dog, ask for a bird. Not that they're more advanced. I don't really know how to take care of a bird. But ask for a more like... Ask for like a snake. Be like, hey, can I get a snake? But most of the time your parent will not let you get a snake because I, every parent I know so far does not allow snakes in their house. So maybe ask for a snake and if they say, oh, no way, be like, okay, well, how about a lizard? And then, you know, it'll really be like, okay, well, you know, they'll think like, okay, well, since we're not letting her get a snake, I mean, come on, we can let her get a lizard. Like stuff like that. I mean, I'm not a parent. I'm just thinking trying to think from a parents point of view that's exactly what I did I wanted a kitten or a puppy since I was born so my parents always said no because my dad never liked cats and we just didn't have the house for a dog so once I kept saying like oh like yeah I really want this animal and then I brought up the lizard I said well guys I really want like a handheld pet I can hold and since I can't get a cat or a dog can I maybe get a lizard and stuff like that another thing you can do Show them bearded dragon videos. Um, I'm almost positive that most of the time, if you ask like one of your parents, oh, can I get a reptile or like a lizard? They'll be like, oh no, not like, I'm not saying like all your parents will, but I'm saying like based upon my friends and what I've seen online and stuff, 
most of the time parents will not say yes to reptiles or really any like aggressive aggressive animal like that so maybe you can show them videos of like you know calmer bearded dragons like this and show them that hey this isn't aggressive because usually when they think reptiles they think like snakes and these big komodo dragons and stuff like that so you want to assure them that that's not the type of animal i'm getting i'm just getting you know a little guy and he'll be fine and he's not aggressive as long as you raise them right they will not turn out aggressive so raise them right meaning like be gentle with them you know be loving towards them don't throw them around don't neglect them and stuff like that because that will definitely raise them aggressively like i said in the beginning it's also a bonus if you can pay for it because if you can pay for it then it's kind of like hey mom dad this is my money so i'm gonna get what i want that's what i do with everything like I ordered a $30 aquarium light and I know it's crazy I could have like done better but I was crying last night and I did not want to spend my $30 but I did because that's something I want if I asked my my dad and mom they would be like no 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 you have enough you don't need any more so it's really bonus if you tell them hey I'm gonna pay for it I worked for the money or I received this money for me please just let me get it I I mean it's not guaranteed that they're gonna say yes again because it is their house so what if they say no? What if all these tips I gave you, none of them seem to work? Have no fear. If they say no, show dedication on how willing you are to take care of this animal. Well, you can do that, you know, in the do section, but this is just if they completely say no. So basically what I mean, over time, over the next few days, show them that how much you really want to take care of this animal and how much you really are interested in them. So maybe just what I did was I went down and said, oh, hey, mom, look at these bearded dragons. Aren't they so cute? And then say, oh, yeah, I heard that they need this type of lighting and they only eat like this stuff. Like, you know, bring out like a few tips every once in a while, just like really getting your parents to know that, oh, hey, like she she or he really wants to spear a dragon you know she's really into it and stuff like that and that will also increase your chances of them saying yes second thing you should do if they say no is be patient be very patient so if they say no today they might say yes tomorrow if they say no tomorrow too then they might say yes the next day you just really want to be patient and not give up so easily because i remember the first day i asked for like a pet of any sort and they were like no so Thank you guys for watching and that's pretty much it. I hope I helped you guys at least somewhat. This is just my tips how I got my parents to allow me to get a bearded dragon and my crested gecko. So I hope this helps. I know I'm not really the best at explaining these kind of videos. I get all confused. So I hope this was easy for you to understand and I hope this works. So let me know in the comments if this did work for you and I'll see you in the next video.